This is Witchbase News for Friday the 8th of April 2022 ...I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week ...is Salvation about to deliver an Easter present to the Thargoids? Lavecon is confirmed for this year with a new venue ...we've a summary of the latest FDEV livestream and more. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications and if you'd like to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. As we reported last week everyone's favourite mystery messiah Salvation held their own secret community goal last week after emailing selected commanders who had been involved in their dubious operations before asking them to once more go bin diving at Guardian surface sites and bring their various empty tin cans, used tin foil and plastic bottles to the megaship Musashi that was parked nearby. Regular viewers will know that good old Salvation has played this card a few times before now ...using the assorted Guardian Flotsam and Jetsam to somehow power his daisy cutting Death Star Uber gun to lay waste to most of the sour salad in a given system. The resultant evidence remaining after a shot from the pansy plapping mega laser leaves no doubt whatsoever in even a casual viewer that the super weapon does indeed very effectively mow the lawn in the targeted system ...however its usage on multiple occasions now has completely failed to stop the Thargoid advance. Indeed evidence would seem to suggest quite the contrary is true and in fact the goids get even more annoyed after an attack and if anything tend to come back with a renewed vigour and sense of purpose. Salvation CG ended as planned on Thursday this week and the Musashi megaship departed for its next scheduled stop in the T-Tori system. It's worth noting that the game has no active community goal this week ...there's nothing else that the players are being actively distracted with in game by Frontier. That's quite a rarity these days. If there isn't an active CG there's normally a something else ...like a mystery paper trail to be followed. As of this recording nothing in that vein has yet surfaced. There was a maintenance bounce to the servers on Thursday morning ...it was unannounced ahead of time and involved a very brief outage and was only acknowledged by Frontier after players started noticing. If things follow the usual pattern Old Salad Nation will fire the Pansy Plapper 5000 fairly quickly after it's been fueled up. That being the case we could see the Thargoid spinach of spite driven into a killing frenzy again sometime in the next few days. Just in time for the Thargs Day tick next week and you could argue the long Easter holiday weekend. It could be something and of course we could be seeing patterns in our tea leaves that just aren't there. The caveat that is thrown around this house quite a lot during our many elite based discussions is ...but this is frontier and elite dangerous. One final point of note before I stop talking about the Mickey Mouse Messiah ...Salvation's spokesperson of late has been Commodore Morag Halloran. In her communications to the player base Commodore Halloran refers to Salvation using the pronoun HE. Whether Halloran has actually been in a room with Salvation is yet to be determined although I personally suspect probably not ...but whatever the case that's the pronoun for Salvation we're going with until it's proven he's actually an evil guardian AI or the collective voice of the board of azimuth biochemicals or indeed something else entirely. The organisers of the elite themed convention Lavecon have confirmed that the convention will be taking place this year on the 16th and 17th of July. The venue has changed from previous years and it will now be taking place at Kent's Hill Park in Milton Keynes in the UK. As of this recording the Lavecon website is awaiting updates to reflect the new dates and venue as well as ticket booking facilities but those details are on the way and Frontier confirmed on the livestream last night that they will be in attendance. As soon as we have more information we'll of course let you know here. 
We reported a few weeks back that Frontier was advertising for a lead game designer to work on Elite Dangerous and that role has now been filled internally with the promotion of Luke Betterton from senior to lead game designer on Elite Dangerous Odyssey. Luke has been at Frontier for over 7 years and you may remember seeing him in his previous role on the original Fleet Carrier content reveal livestream from Frontier way back in April 2020. Upon announcing the news Luke tweeted saying quote ...hyped to show people what we've been cooking up unquote which was encouraging to hear. Frontier hosted their fourth Frameshift Live livestream this week bringing the usual roundup of community made content and in game happenings. As you may be aware this new generation of FDev livestreams is running a campaign of freebie giveaway in game items if you watch via the Twitch platform. The streams are also available in the accompanying flavours of YouTube and Steam but it's only on Twitch that the watch time counts towards the unlocking of the free stuff as that's the only platform that supports such things currently. As well as the regular purple themed gear FDev are also dropping a new duo of seasonal themed ship skins that can be earned just by watching and as these change every quarter this week saw the arrival of summer themed skins for the Diamondback Explorer. If you want to earn these slightly more exclusive skins you now have 3 months worth of 2 hour FDev livestreams in which to earn the required 2 hours watch time to get both of them. As we reported last week the livestream does have a segment put aside for development news but again this week there wasn't any actual solid development news. Frontier did take the opportunity again to underline that they are still working on console PC platform account transfers following the console cancellation of Odyssey and when asked about the possibility of the existence of an update 12 to Odyssey Arthur did say that he wasn't allowed to say before nodding vigorously at the camera. This honestly isn't a shocking reveal. I think the majority of the community believed that updates to Odyssey would continue in 2022. The CMs in fact acknowledging a couple of weeks ago that patches would indeed be arriving just not on such a regular schedule as we'd seen at the end of last year. What is odd or perhaps something of a shame is that the CMs feel they aren't allowed to even acknowledge the existence of the next update without fear of retribution from on high. There is currently no information as to the content of update 12. As soon as we hear anything we will of course bring it to you here on this very channel. I will just drop here while I have your attention that Paul Crowther mentioned on the forums this week that the further engineering issues resulting from pre-engineered FSDs awarded as part of the Colonia Bridge community goal were still under investigation. So the word there is still to hold off from attempting any further engineering on those units until you hear otherwise. Aside from that there is no more news out of Frontier about developments into the game and this does seem to be the pattern that we're again falling into with the Cambridge based developers. Elite being that most peculiar of creatures a live service game that isn't really treated like a live service game by its publishers. Our feeling here at the Burr Pit is that the upturn in comms that we saw last year was very much a temporary reaction to the anger coming from the player base and an exercise in disaster recovery and we are now once again settling into a pattern of less open communications of the flavour we've mostly come to expect from Frontier with regard to all things Elite. It's worth reiterating again here that Arthur did say on a livestream just 2 weeks ago that new content and features are coming to the game. Ultimately what Frontier says acts as a nice bonus and is absolutely something that helps to drive interest and confidence in the future of the game. It's what they deliver however in this surely most crucial of years in the games history that will ultimately speak volumes for them one way or another. Do you believe Salvation when he says he can save us from the Thargoids? Do you believe we even need saving from the Thargoids? Are you planning on attending Lavecon this year? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.